Yeah. Make sure to be careful where you leave wire in the yard. As you can see, I was trimming and got that there was wire in the grass and the trimmer just wound it up into itself. So what I'm trying to do is take out the screws and hopefully that will give me access to where the motor connects to this uh, this thing here. <laughs> So then I can unwind the wire. Let's see how it goes. So I needed a T15 star key uh, to remove the screws, four screws here. And then I was looking to see how to get off this um, the shield and I found four I had to clean all the grass stuff down here, but I found things that looked like this, this bump, and after just poking at it, I saw it was a plus head screwdriver it was needed to remove it, so I've already removed two of them. Um, so I'm going to be working on two more, and so this should come off, and then I can finally open the uh, casing on the trimmer. So well, that's what's next. Remove the uh, two other screws, and now this uh, shield is falling off. Um, I can't fully take it off because it, the wire is stuck out here and tangled. So now I'm going to be able to, I should be able to open the casing since I've already removed the first. Oh, whoops, I counted wrong. There's a, there's six screws. So I removed the six screws already. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss one. Oh, maybe I did miss one. Okay, so it looks like I need to uh, work on one more right here. Uh, oh, actually it feels like it's loose. So I've already unwound it. It's just not allowing the case to open. All right, so I'm gonna need two hands, so I'm gonna have to stop the video. So I gotta open this far now. It's just this tip part that looks like it's held together by some plastic, uh, I don't know, nubs. <laughs> and so I'm using this uh, screwdriver in my hand to uh, just slowly um, help it open or come apart. Don't want to force it because I'm afraid I might crack something. So I'm just going like this slowly. And I'm hoping it's just, it looks like it's slowly widening. So, so once it's open, I can have access to the uh, part of the motor that connects to this and I can see how the wire is is wound in there then I can disconnect it or unwind it oh there we go it just came apart so let's see how this has wound itself in there I'm not sure if you can see it but it is quite wound up Oh, wow, it looks like I was pretty close when I was trying to unwind it. Um, without seeing anything. Oh, looks like I just had to do that. Maybe. Uh, let's see if that unwinds it. Okay. I just brought it around. No, it's still stuck. Uh, yeah, it's still stuck. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video so I can have a closer look and unwind it. So, that's uh, pretty much it. This is a Ryobi 18 volt uh, corded, no, no, cordless. 
that uses uh, the Ryobi batteries, the 18 volt ones. And yeah, it's been working out great for me until I made it eat up this uh, wire. So this is my first problem, but it's not a problem with the trimmer. The trimmer is actually very strong um, compared to the hybrid one I used to have. I can totally tell the difference between this one and the hybrid one I had. The hybrid one, it just died because uh, I kept dropping it on its head um, because my arm would get tired and so that's, uh, that's a lesson learned when you're, you're uh, trimming and you get tired. Make sure you let go of the trigger before you land, you drop it on its head. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to stop the video and uh, I might show you once I've gotten the wire out. So actually it was not very hard to get the wire out. It just had one more loop. The, what made it not possible to unwind it when um, the shield and the uh, casing was on is there, if you can see in here, there are two bolts that come down that hold the motor to this white piece here. And so I guess when I was trying to unwind it um, with, the, with everything on, it was getting stuck on these uh, bolts. It wouldn't go underneath it. And so I was pretty close to unwinding it with um, uh, everything on except Every time I got to the last uh, loop, or the second last loop, it would get caught on these uh, these bolts and it would rewind itself. So. so I'm glad I got everything off. Now I'm just going to reattach the uh, casing and the shield and it should be ready to go again. So I'm going to start putting everything back together. I've nearly got it together. When you're putting it together, you just want to make sure that the components um, have a place within the casing so that when you squeeze it back together, you don't crush any of it because that can damage the components and then your, your trimmer may not start back up. Um, so right now I, I believe I've squeezed everything. I squeezed the case on properly, except that unexpectedly, this part that fits into the handle is not closing. So I'm trying to figure out what the problem is right now. Here you can see the, uh, the wire is not in there anymore. And I've squeezed together the bottom part went together a lot better and faster than I thought. But this top part, I'm not sure what's in there, but it's not allowing the case to close. So I'm gonna just poke around some more. So I found out the issue. Um, if you look at the case here, there's like three, uh, three things that come down on this one side. And so there's three holes um, that are in this handle, this black handle, that allow those uh, three plastic um, nozzles to come down. Whereas on the other side, there's only two uh, of these screw nozzles. I guess the middle one is just to hold, help hold it um, in place. So, yeah, so uh, I guess I had rotated the handle without knowing it when I was getting the wire out and so I just rotated it back and now it looks like the casing will fit back um, properly then I can get the screws on and and put everything back together so I just want to sh wanted to sh let you know what was causing the case to not close yeah these screws back in uh, you don't 
don't over tighten because this is a plastic case so it'll crack if you over tighten plus uh i realized it when i was removing the screws that um they were just hand tightened and not super tight either so i was, didn't need any tools other than this this allen key to uh remove it and I didn't have to try very hard to get the screws out, so yeah, just don't over tighten, otherwise you might crack the case and that might affect uh, how uh, your trimmer works. So yeah, I just reached the tightness and I just stopped. So just getting the screws back in here. Yeah, so if you have a similar problem, uh, it's not hard to do. Probably the most challenging part is uh, removing the case and making sure you don't crack it when you removed it, when you remove it, because uh, it's plastic so it's easy to crack if you force it open. That's why I use the screwdriver to remove. I mean to help widen it slowly and the other challenging part is um, putting the case back together to make sure you don't crush any of the components that are in there so yeah I think those two are the most challenging putting screws in and tightening them is not is very not challenging it's pretty straightforward yeah so I'm almost done tightening this. I'm just doing hand tight and not too tight. Once it starts getting tight, I just stop. Since uh, that's the way I found the screws. Um, so they must have did that when they were manufacturing the trimmer. So I'm just putting it back to the way it was. Now I'm getting the shield out of the mess of wires. I should just pull out. There we go. So I have this, and there's uh, four screws on there. I do put back. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need my other hand, so I'm gonna stop the video now. Here's a tip if you don't know which way the shield goes on. There's a square notch here, and it lines up with this square notch that's on the, the casing. So that's how you line it up, and then you put in the four screws, and then you'll be done. I Yeah, because I just showed you putting in those uh, six screws. Then uh, I guess I'll test it out after. Um, Putting on the last screw that holds the shield, um, using my foot to support the head so that um, I can see where the screw goes and I can screw it. So this is just me putting in the last screw. I have one of these neat um, screwdrivers that works sort of like a ratchet. So I can do it with one hand. There. Yeah, you don't want to over tighten these either. Make sure you don't strip the screw head. Otherwise, it'll be hard to uh, do this next time if you can't tighten your screws. So, yeah, this feels pretty sturdy. I didn't over tighten the screws. And. Looks like it's ready to go. So here's the wire. I just wrapped it up into a nice loop. Um, I definitely will not be leaving that in the garden next time. Um, and here's the, the battery. I just got it for testing it out. I'm gonna just snap it on here. 
there. Snap. There we go. Now I just press the safety switch up here and pull the trigger. And it works again. Yay. So that's uh that's it for the video. Um hopefully uh it helped some of you out in case you need to uh open up the the motor head to uh remove something that might have got pulled in there or even just to clean it. I never find cleaning it necessary because it's just gonna get dirty again, but if you're the kind of person that likes to do that, hopefully this video helped you out. So, thanks for watching.